In this particular case, let me show you how to use goal seek to solve a puzzle. I'm going to explain you the puzzle and then I'm going to also show you how you can frame it mathematically and then how can you use goal seek to solve it. So here is the puzzle. The puzzle is like there is a person K who went to meet his three childhood friends A, B, C one by one. Let's say he had some amount in his pocket called X. K met person A and they played a game. If K wins, A will give him money equivalent to what he has at present. So K will be, uh, get 2X because he had X at present. But if K loses, he will, A will take up everything. Here K wins. So obviously K gets 2X. As a parting gift, K gives rupees 2000 to person A and leaves to meet person B. So now person K is left with 2x minus 2000. Now person K meets person B. Again, they played a game. If K wins, B will give as much as what he has. But if he loses, B will take up everything. Hey, again, K wins. So his money becomes double 2 into 2x minus 2000. K gives 2000 as a parting gift to person B and goes to meet person C. Again, they played a game, the same game that if K wins, he will get double the amount that he has. Otherwise, he will lose up everything. K wins again. So his money becomes double once again. And as a parting gift, he gives 2000 rupees. Now, this amount is to 5000 rupees. So after everything, he's left with 5000 rupees. Now the question is what is X? So you can solve it mathematically also because you need to put this equal to 5000 and then it will become 2 into this whole thing in bracket will become equal to 7000. You keep solving it, you'll reach to the solution. There is another way of solving which is goal seek way. Let me show you how to do it. So you put here any number. Let's say you put here 4000 rupees. So if he, the person had 4,000 rupees, you know, he money becomes 8,000. As a parting gift, he gives 6,000 rupees. Again, he gives 2,000 rupees, so he's left with 6,000. He wins again, so he, it becomes 12,000. He gives 10, 2,000 rupees, he's left with 10,000 rupees. He wins again, it becomes 20,000. He gives 2,000 rupees, so he's left with 18,000. Now it's a matter of that what amount you put here that you get here 5000. Try putting 1000. It becomes negative. So obviously this money has to be bigger than 1000. Try putting 2000. He's left with only 2000. So obviously this money has to be bigger than 2000. Try putting 3000. So this money is 10,000. So this amount has to be between 2000 and 3000. But then you know this way you'll keep doing it multiple times. What is the way out? The way out is that you go to the data tab and go to the what if tab and go to goal seek. In goal seek, you say set sale, this sale. To what value? We want it to be 5000. And what do you want? You want by changing this sale, correct? So by changing this sale. And you say OK and you'll see that it immediately figures out the solution. So it has figured out that it is 2,375. That is that magical number which gives you 5,000. How come? Because when he wins, it becomes 4,750. He gives 2,000 as the parting gift left with 2,750. He wins again, it becomes double 5,500. Parting gift 2,000. He's left with 3,500. He wins, it becomes double. He gives parting gift 2,000. He's left with 5,000. That's how the calculation goes. So what did you learn? You learned that how goal seek was able to solve this puzzle, which is an iterative problem fairly quickly.